What's up guys, Sam here, welcome to Tech Today TV. Now that we are inching closer to the end of 2022, the leaks about the products that will launch in early 2023 are pouring in, Samsung is said to be preparing to announce its next set of flagship phones in the coming months. The Galaxy S23 series is expected to arrive in either January or February, which is the same timeline as when older Galaxy S series phones were released. The leaks so far have also suggested that the launch will take place in early 2023. Here is everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy S23 lineup. The standard variant in the Samsung Galaxy S23 series might continue to offer a small battery because of the device's compact form factor. Its predecessor, the Galaxy S22, offered a 3700 mAh battery under the hood, and the new one could come with a 3900 mAh unit. As per leaks, this is pretty small and will run out faster. Even with moderate usage, the Galaxy S22's battery runs out very quickly, and people have to carry a power bank every time they travel somewhere. Those who want a compact smartphone will have to suffer from battery issues. The software on Samsung phones also needs work in terms of battery optimization to help offer longer battery life. The flagship chipset and Samsung's heavy One UI software squeeze out more battery. The Samsung Galaxy S23 isn't expected to get support for faster charging speeds than what we got on the older version. The leaks claim that the company will provide support for only 25 watts wired charging and 10 watts wireless charging. There are Android phones in the range of 30,000 that come with an 80W fast charger, and Samsung is still offering its flagship handsets with support for lower charging speeds. If the company doesn't want to provide a fast charger in the box, it should offer support for at least 65 watts. So, people will be able to buy fast chargers to quickly top up the phone's battery unit. The next generation of Samsung's Galaxy S23 series will likely be powered by Qualcomm's top-end chipset. The device could pack a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip or Samsung's in-house Exynos 2300 SOC, depending on the region. The US market is expected to get the Qualcomm chip, just like the Galaxy S22 series. The upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 5G phone will likely ship with the latest Android 13 OS. Earlier this year, the brand changed its software policy and announced that its flagship devices would get four years of major Android OS upgrades and five years of security patches. So, it is expected to offer the same software support for the Galaxy S23 series too. In terms of design, the handset will likely feature a punch hole display design on the front, considering we have been seeing the same on most phones that are out there in the market. It is currently unclear whether the new version will have a different design at the back. The Galaxy S21 and S22 have similar back panel designs. The leaks so far claim that the Galaxy S23 Ultra will get a big upgrade. It could come with a 200 megapixel primary rear camera. Share your thoughts and comments below. I hope you found our content interesting, and if you did, please like and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.